quickly early and tried to throw it in order to run it later in the game. First down and 10 of the 19-yard line. Kaliak Manis will let it fly on first down, and it's caught. Just an ankle injury this year. He will be back hopefully shortly, but not in the game today. So that brings up third down and two at the 27. Bryce Williams in the backfield for Minnesota. Kaliak Manis out of the shotgun. He'll throw it underneath. And it's position and tight end. But he certainly is a guy that can go out there and get you a thousand yards. And if he stays healthy, he should have a big year. Second down and eight at the 38 yard line. Opening drive for this Minnesota team. Kaliak Manis off his back foot to the sideline. You've got to spread the ball around. You can see them already trying to do that here on this opening series. And he'll throw it out wide, caught, but Nebraska right. Kelly Ekmanis with time underneath. Anders. And P.J. Fleck has built something really special here at Minnesota. And when you're looking at their history, they are right now, they're as successful as they've ever been in the modern history of college football in the last three years under P.J. Fleck. Take it down at eight. Play fake. Kelly Ekmanis steps into his throw underneath, and it's caught. And a change. Second down and three at the 46. Here's Kelly Ekmanis rolling out of the pocket. Quick delivery. Caught. Not enough for first down. Crew. Kelly Ekmanis under pressure. Fires. First down. That ball throw feel like they have from a personnel standpoint and it's going to probably be a couple of weeks in the process second down at six at the 44. Kelly Ekmanis young quarterback eighth play of the drive third and six at the Nebraska 44 second series of the day for Minnesota Kelly Ekmanis looking and caught Krooms again. Line is finding a bit of a rhythm here, and they'll go a little up tempo. Play fake. Kelly Ekmanis drops it off underneath at the 23. Kelly Ekmanis fires underneath. Not enough for first, but keeps the chains moving. First down at the 37. Minnesota up 3 0. Kelly Ekmanis. Dancing throws deep and incomplete. Presented pressure in Kaliak Manis's face all night. Third down and nine for the Gophers. Kaliak Manis under pressure throws on the move and caught. That's hard line. PK Flex said something about Kaliak Manis that really surprised me. And here he is to throw it in trouble. Stays on his feet. Buys time. Gets rid of it. Third down and eight at the 49. Kelly Ekmanis. Near side. Caught. First down. And it. the ball was. Beautiful ball placement from the quarterback. Kelly Ekmanis again the throw. And this time it's incomplete. Ekmanis in the game there with 21 Bryce Williams, Gus. Third down and nine to the 36. We're six of eight on third down conversions. Kelly Manis over the middle. Incomplete. He's played pretty well so far, but they just haven't finished some of those positive drives and only have three points. Kelly Manis to the far six. At the 23 for Minnesota. Kelly Manis underneath. It's caught, but no room on Tyler in the backfield. With Kelly Ekmanis, who calls the play at the line of scrimmage. Kelly Ekmanis pulls it down, throws on the move, sidearm, first down. Great catch, Daniel. Because you got to dip down, you got to change your arm angle all the time, throw on the move, and we saw a great example on that play. First down to the 29. Play fit. Kelly Ekmanis. Continues to roll, looking. And incomplete as he throws 42 yards of total offense for Minnesota. Kelly Ekmanis over the middle and caught. Well done, he finds. For a first down 
from the Nebraska 45. Kelly McManus dancing to the sideline. Boy, he put that one on the That's the advantage. Second and eight. Play fake. Kelly McManus delivers sideline. Intercepted. Kelly McManus short drop. Sideline, incomplete. McManus is in a totally different position than the quarterback's previous years, Tanner Morgan. Kelly McManus, and that ball, yard line. Kelly McManus, and he goes down in 10 at their own 17. Kelly McManus. Down. That's a signal to everybody. Hey, we don't feel like we're going to be able to just run the ball anymore. The offensive line has not won up front. This game is going to be on the shoulder of their quarterback. Last three possessions, three and out, a pick, and a three and out for the Gophers. Second and five. Near side. Ball caught. Rice will. Nebraska. That was the first Nebraska sack of the evening. Second down and 11. Kelly Ekmanis sidearms it underneath. Caught. From the 39. Kelly McManus winds up, takes a deep shot, and inks in particular in the back end at safety. Second down and 10. Kelly McManus going through his progressions. In trouble. Buys time. Spins. Looking. Kelly McManus just delivers. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Dota with all three of their timeouts. Second down and seven. Play action. Kelly McManus sets up deep. Looking with time. Kelly McManus finally fires. And incomplete. Midfield. Kelly McManus looking for that first down. He drops it off to his receiver. I don't know. Kelly McManus. Sideline, second down and ten. Nebraska showing blitz. Kelly McManus over the middle, and he has his man, Spanford. He continues to move and will find Nebraska 13. Kelly McManus having one of his best drives of the night. He wants to throw it again. Lofts it in the end zone. Kelly McManus comes it underneath. Ingles can still get a first down. Kelly McManus over the middle. Incomplete. Broken up at the last moment. Kelly McManus looking. In zone. Touchdown. Gophers. 49. One timeout left. Kelly McManus to spend yards here before they would be comfortable at least attempting a field goal. Remember, Kessich barely missed a 54-yarder in this game. He pushed it wide left. Second and one. Kelly McManus, first down, out of bounds. 37. Kelly McManus. Drops it off. Another complete run that set up the game-winning <laughs> field goal. So one play and a first down with Tyler through the grounds. And off the play fake, it's Kelly Ackman is underneath the Daniel Jackson. Last week's game-time touchdown yard Already. game last week. Already turning them out on the first drive of the night. So a third down and long for Kelly Manis, who threw just two passes on that 12 play first drive. And on third down, he throws a good ball to the edge, and that's caught. So Kaliak Manis keeps the drive alive out to midfield. Under center on first down and 10. Kaliak Manis gets away incomplete. He is loving this. He's out of the game. Darius Taylor, the back, and underneath. That is caught by Corey Crooms, and he moves it.
Western Michigan transfer, former MAC rival and division rival of these guys. Play fake, Kaliak Bennis, a contested catch. For His play near the line of scrimmage sets up third down and goal for Kaliak Bennis with Tyler in the backfield with him. Looks left, flushed right. Kaliak Bennis to the end zone, incomplete. State. And part of their run to the 2006 BCS national title game. Kaliak Bennis out to the edge, there's Crooms, and there's the breathing room. A five-man front for Eastern Michigan. Play action. Kaliak Manis. And that's almost intercepted. A Big Ten experience for Eastern Michigan. Yeah, this game might mean a little more to him. He used to play at Michigan State. Mm -hmm. Flying. Kaliak Manis to the single side, and a flag comes out. And Darius Taylor stays in after the one-yard touchdown. That's the only score in this game. It came late in the second quarter for Minnesota. Kaliak Manis with his first throw of the second half. Kaliak Manis is a guy that has proven he can move on really, really fast. And they'll give him a chance to throw after he was off target. with pressure on him. And using the legs to get free. And complete underneath extending the play. And up for a first down to his back. Hopefully try to finish for those Gophers. That field goal came on a seven-minute drive out of halftime. Kaliak Manis to throw, and he connects for a first down on across midfield for Daniel Jackson, who's not going down. Goalie. And after that catch, Daniel Jackson now talking to Shine, who comes out to check him. Face to face, the line of scrimmage before this play. Kaliak Manis going back to the sideline, an incomplete with a flag out. Spans. And you just saw why. Kaliak Manis off the play, fake, hits Taylor. And he's got three yards on that run. So 42 runs to 12 passes in this game. <laughs> that's that's more like it. The total flip for Greg Harbo calling the plays. And there's a throw and an, into a tight. And play clock running down here on Kaliak Manis. Gets it off. And juggled. And that's intercepted. Span Ford couldn't. Three touchdown favorite. Uh, Darius Taylor lined up next to eighth in Kaliak Manis. He pulls it out of there and throws underneath. And it's incomplete. Kaliak Mattis making his eighth career start has taken over as the full-time starter this season from under center. He'll fake it and then roll out in the pass for a first down. Coming out of the backfield is Darius. Tanner Morgan got hurt middle of the season a year ago. Engineered that big fourth quarter comeback win in the season opener against Nebraska. Slings that downfield incomplete. First year as an OC in his third stint at Minnesota and back in his hometown. Corey Crooms with the lane for the running back to get more than enough for a first down. Seventh play of the drive here that's covered 50 yards. Calliot Manis splits coming, passes behind the tight end, tipped a couple of times. He may have to do a better job of protecting himself. Yeah, in fact, he just had to pooch punt it away after Carolina could not cash in on the interception, so it's back to work for the five and picking up a big first down on this drive. He came here because he knew he could play right away with the graduation of Mo Ibrahim, who we believe is in the building today. He graduated as the all-time leading rusher in Golden Gopher history. Calliot Manis with the deep ball and he overshoots him. Second down and ten. Out to Tyler. And wrapped up right around the line. Four man pressure hit as he releases, almost picked. To behind center for PJ Fleck in this offense. They've only been able to run it five times for 40 yards. They'll throw here in the pass. He'll fall back into coverage underneath, incomplete through. Darius Taylor is the offset back. They'll use him as the decoy. Under pressure and heaved out of bounds by Taylor in the backfield. Play action, Kaliak Manis incomplete. 
Van Ford at the bottom, tight end. Callie McManus looking the other way, puts it up for grabs, and it's incomplete. Here in the first half, get a carry. Well, he's had some fumbling issues the first couple games of the season. Probably one of the reasons why we haven't seen him. Callie McManus, play action. Go back next to him. They'll throw across the middle. Minnesota with the ball here late in the half. They'll have it to start the third quarter as well. And they look to drop one over the top, and it's broken up, and a flag flies in. Looking for Daniel Jackson, Marcus. Second down and eight. Defender slipped. The catch is made by Brockington and Lamecki with room to move. To the end zone. Try to put some pressure on the Tar Heel defense. Callie Ignace again throws to the outside and the catch for under center on first and ten. Minute and a half to go. Play action to roll out. We'll drop it off to span forward and the tight end. Another play action, roll out. Kaliak Manis in trouble and incomplete. And now a late flag flies in. Kaliak Manis on the roll out. Finds Tyler out of the backfield and into North Carolina territory. PJ Fleck is about developing and growing. That's been the motto here over the last couple years since he's been head coach. Callie McManus connects. Lamecki Brockington to graduate from North Carolina and leave a legacy on the football field for the Tar Heels. Play action. Callie McManus popped up in the air and it will drop to the. They like Corey Crooms up top on the floor in motion. They fake the jet sweep to him, set up the screen for the tight end. And span that off. They'll fake the handoff. Deep throw down the middle. And incomplete at the 10 yard 20th carry of the day. Ocean Man is Brockington. They'll fire it to the other edge. Caught by Crooms on the run. Shoved out of bounds. Play action, Kelly McManus incomplete. Taylor's offset. Kelly McManus batted down. So the officials reversed the call. They just picked the wrong team. The penalty was not against North Carolina. It was against Minnesota. So that. Well, it's a team that runs a lot, doesn't rely on the pass. They're going to have to here late to try and make something happen. Oh, the empty set again. There are the numbers for Ethan. Pressure coming. Able to barely hang on to it. Heaves it downfield into traffic. In Making a response tonight. S saw that graphic, a native of Antioch, Illinois, right at the border of Illinois and Wisconsin, about a 45-minute drive north. Here from Chicagoland, Kaliak Manis intended for Brockington in the past. Second and eight. Brevin span forward on the move. Kaliak Manis moving out of the pocket, and that time connects with Taylor and gets some extra yards this Northwestern defense has allowed. That is definitely a matchup here to watch tonight. Northwestern defense that has allowed basically a a score on the first drive of every single Thinking end zone pass. back in that consistency they're looking for. Third down, gotta get to midfield, right at the 50 to Taylor. And he will play 10 a.m. Eastern, presented by Defender.
County of Manus all kinds of time. Deep downfield over to Jackson, his receiver. And the pass broken up beautifully. Azama. That's an exceptional play. And dealing with a third and six situation. Cali Manus again, some time to throw. And the one incomplete. First down pickup. He's really good. <laughs> Am I allowed to call a football game while I eat? Yeah, well, find out. we're doing it right now. <laughs> Kelly Manus rolling out. Oh, a one-handed oh. grab. Unbelievable. Marion Barber. Marion Barber. Man, was he physical. Something to ponder in these next few plays. Kaliak Manis, this time into the air for Duke. Taylor went the other way. Already two yards just short of 100 yards here in this first half. Kaliak Manis, play action. And off the one foot into the end zone. Passes caught Daniel Jackson for the Minnesota touchdown. Taylor, when you, you factor everything that he's done in about three and a half games here for Minnesota in his career, how about 470 yards on the ground? And that factors in the 137 that he has here in the first half. Kali Manas has been perfect in the first half uh -oh. and on the side. Oh, great throw, clean catch. Kali Manas fakes to... Taylor and pass was deflected. Second down. Kelly McManus again intercepted. Nope. Turner nearly had it. Kelly McManus short pass play. 24 to 17, but a 24 to 10 lead here for Minnesota. Kalik Manis on third and long, just short of the line. Third and seven. Kalik Manis flushed out of the pocket. Pressure coming from Pate. And forced to toss it away. Santo Saka up top. Slink. Second and 11. Taylor, still your back. Kalik Manis off the one foot. Over to Brockington. Each team will start on the 25 yard line. Kalik Manis, wow, all kinds of coverage. Kalik Manis into the air. Wow, hanging on to the play. Coombs is going to hang on that time. The 98-yard rush day watching from the sideline. Williams stays in. Kalik Manis off the hands of Spanford. Nearly intercepted. Pass caught. Casey's brother Joseph plays for the Cincinnati Bengals. Here's a first and 10 for Cali McManus in Minnesota, and Jackson's wide open at the 40 of Louisiana. Under center. More play fake. The sidearm throw is caught. Great to hear that message for Minnesota's homecoming game. Gophers with a first and goal here. Kaliak Manis to the end zone. Jackson first and ten. Play comes in from the Minnesota sideline. Kaliak Manis over the middle, looking for Jackson, his favorite target. Who was itching at any opportunity to make a play? Well, you do love defensive backs. I'm a little biased, I will admit. Wasn't too surprised. <laughs> Second down. And Kaliak Manis on a beautiful play fake comes back to his tight end, Nick Kallerup. On second down, crossing route, Elijah Spencer. And he near up 17 14, Minnesota football, second down here. Less than a minute to go until halftime. Kaliak Manis, a deep shot, and it's intercepted. Tyrell. Darius Taylor. 
three weeks in a row has been named Big Ten Freshman of the Week. Evans, a redshirt freshman, playing well in his absence. He's on blitz pickup there, and the pass is caught by Corey from the 45. Crooms in motion. Crooms on the reception. First down and more. Shouldered on. Bryce Williams in there at running back. Overliable. They need him on third down for blitz pickup, and the pass is caught. That's, and then a helmet falls off. Call him the Nigerian Nightmare. Family born and raised out there. Here's Cali Manis. Deep shot for Crooms, and it's out of reach, and a flag comes in. Keon Mar A lot of people on the West Coast as well. <laughs> Cali Manis under center on second down. More than happy to take his time with Minnesota up in the fourth. Brevin Span Ford, his first catch of the day. He needs to finish this season strong. I've seen a bunch of Matt Spaeth jerseys in the crowd today. Oh, they love them. They love them. They love their tight ends here at Minnesota. Third down pass in. Right, it's homecoming, baby. Everybody's at home. On third and nine, Cali Manis throws it away and it's caught. Corey Crooms Gopher on homecoming. Here's a fourth down for Minnesota, and Jackson is wide open. Touchdown, Minnesota. The running back here on first down. They'll go running back by committee with three really solid backs. Play action on first down. Kelly Manis is going to throw a physical category on the ground in the entire country. He has been outstanding to start his career. Second and ten, take the handoff, and Kalik Manis is going to throw a pick all the way in. Touch. Instead of being the first down, that last five-yard pickup makes it third and three. Span forward, the motion man. Kalik Manis back to the air. And low throw, nearly full of penalties on their second opportunity. And he needs an easy completion soon. He's 0 for 3. They got some guys that can make plays. You gotta give him the football. Play action on first down, a lot of pressure, and he just throws it up. We'll get Sean Tyler in there, so all three backs have now had an opportunity. Play action, Kalik Manis on the rollout. And he does have his first completion behind the line of scrimmage. Bryce Williams back in there on third and two. Kalik Manis feeling the pressure. And he finds his target on the run. It's Williams for a first down. But Evans will stay in there. Oh, action, Kelly Manis. It was knocked down towards the second quarter, 17 to 7 at one point against Rutgers in the third quarter before pulling away. See if Minnesota can capitalize as Kelly Manis, another dangerous that we remember from last season. Last few weeks. Play action, Kelly Manis. He's going to dump it to Jackson anyway. He gets away from the first, but not the second, and he loses a yard. I think he did to create the turnaround that we've seen. Grooms put in motion. Play action. Kelly Manis just looking for anything. Swing it to his running back, Evans. Jimmy Shake, Evans a spin, a second spin, and a first down, down to the 38. It'll be interesting to hear what P.J. Fleck has to say about the situation after the game. And for now, second and ten with 13 seconds left. Kelly Manis loads it up, going deep towards the end zone. Daniel it's caught. Jackson. Daniel Jackson. Play action, Kelly Manis. Decent time. Oh, that was batted down at the line of scrimmage. Love him because he's a great leader and he's a great teammate. Meanwhile, on the other side, a second down and four for Ethan Kaliak Manis. We learned from Tanner Morgan the last couple of years. A roll out of the pocket here. Flag is down, and they'll just throw it away. By 21. At some point, Kaliak Manis is going to have to let it loose a little bit and take some risks. We'll see how quickly they get to that. One game has been pretty successful with Zach Evans, who's in there. Play clock under five. Kalek Manis over the middle, and it's incomplete through the on 
this team to go take and move forward with not just this year but as P.J. Flex says now in the years to come. Yeah. Cal Manis fires intercepted and this one's going to be taken back for a second pick six. And a third and eight now for Minnesota. Stand forward. Incredibly quiet today in motion. Kelly Manis looking towards and span four. Also has Darius Taylor back. They're excited to have him at tailback. He's missed a couple of games with injury. Play action. They take a shot right away, right down the middle. Incomplete. Five mile per hour wind and third down 11 coming up for the Gophers. Kelly Manis, five man rush. In trouble, ball knocked to the ground. Flutter. The intangible elements that are necessary to be a consistent quarterback performer. And around and met in the backfield. Doesn't get past the 22 yard. It's another to get rid of him and make the play. Play action this time. Nice pocket for Kaliak Manis. One side of the field to the other. Penalty marker comes out just as that ball. Also been a tough day for Kaliak Manis. The quarterback for Minnesota making his 12th start. He is just one out of three. Starts this drive to the air. Second completion now to the 20 yard. Into the win, Kaliak Manis behind crew will operate with aggression down the field. Third down and six, Golden Gophers 0 for 5 on third down so far. Four man rush in his own end zone, escapes, fires, out today. So right now they have Darius Taylor and Sean Tyler available. Kaliak Manis drives one, drops by Crooms on. Minnesota, by the way, right now 0 for 6 on third down. The quarterback only has eight passing yards. Steps into one near sideline. High. Road coaches really talking about how the wind is having an impact on this game. Yeah, gusting a little over 20 miles per hour. Kelly Akmanis on the move. Boy, Crooms had a sh They can get Darius Taylor going as well. Only six carries for 17 yards in that first half. Second consecutive pass to the sideline. First down, Gophers. Galliak Manis, that was just his fourth completion. Little breathing room now for the Gophers. First and ten of their own 30. Right back to the air. Nice pocket. Down the field. Crooms lays out for it. And comes up with the catch. Corey Crooms with an outstanding grab in front of Cooper DeGene. Now Minnesota's inside of Iowa territory. Pretty pass, an outstanding route by Corey Crooms coming all the way across the formation. This is pure man coverage from the Hawkeyes and Cooper DeGene not able to stay with Corey Crooms. And they're gonna take another look at 20 miles per hour. Right back to the air, four man rush. Far sideline, a diving catch by Jackson, his fourth of the after Big Ten's leading tackler coming into this game had eight stops in the first half. The average is 12. Here comes a linebacker blitz. Kelly Manis. Little slide. Taylor. Cut back to the 40 and across the 35 yard line. Another. Sean Taylor's the tailback. Fake to Tyler. Quick slant. Ball batted up in the air. Almost intercepted. Taylor just had his fifth punt. Sets up Minnesota for its second possession of the second half. Kelly Manis sliding to his left in trouble and just fires that one away. Third down here, third down 15 for a Gopher team that's converted just one out of nine times on third down. From his own five, plenty of time. Far sideline, fires a strike. Galliak Manis looking, end zone, too much. That rust from not playing for the last two games with a lower body injury. Play action to him. Nice pocket. Kelly Manis. And out of 18. And on third down, they've converted only two out of 12 times. This is third down six. Four-man rush over the middle. They'll need the catch and the run, and they get it. Big hit on Jackson. Points. Plenty of tension here heading into the fourth quarter of a trophy game. Total offense in that third quarter. Very much to the way of the Gophers. 101 to negative three. To the air, Kelly Menace. Ball might have been tipped there at the lunch. Better in that third quarter than the first half. He needs a big down here on third down and 10. 
four-man rush. And they'll need the run here. Near the 50, tackle up on the sideline. P.J. Flex says they... Daniel Jackson, one-on-one -on -one up top with Cooper DeGene. Plenty of time on the play clock. Ten seconds. Kaliak Manis. Far sideline. Not a child. Remains the tailback just to the right of Kaliak Manis. He's only 9 out of 22. Nice pocket this time. Touch pass down the field. Got his man. Daniel Jackson inside the 20. Has found success on third down here in the second half. Third down and six. Kaliak Manis got to hustle it up. Lake clock down to five. Iowa brings four. Good pocket. In and out of the hands inside. Kaliak Manis and the Gophers offense to respond. Chance likely for the ground game to get that one more first down they need. Iowa two timeouts left. Well, they're going to throw it. Kaliak Manis looking in trouble. Well behind his receiver. Push in the West here. Everyone needs to step up. So the six interceptions, five of which have come here at home. Sean Tyler is the tailback. On first down, Kelly Manis being pressured, got away, throws, and that's dropped. Chris Bogle a bit banged up, so Brandon Wright starts at defensive end once again for Michigan State. Kelly Manis sings it, and that's caught. Nice throw for. Gain of 13, now Sean Tyler back in. Chris Altman Bell goes in motion. Kelly Manis throws it back, and this is caught by Tyler with room. Across midfield, first down inside the Michigan State 45 yard line. Very first play of the game, but for a number of different reasons, they faced some challenges throughout this year. Kelly Manis on a slam. That's caught across the 40. Going up against one of the best interior defensive linemen in the Big Ten. On third and 15, Revin Span forward. The tight end it brought down a cut four. Pocket for Kelly McManus. That's tipped and incomplete. From inside their own 10 yard line. Setting up the screen, and it's caught. He had a feeling that was coming. Nice pickup by Newman. Kelly Manis throws. Better catch made by Jackson. He's dragged down. The numbers on Jackson last week against Iowa. Taking a shot downfield into coverage and pulling it down. That's a catch. Seven catches for 101 yards, and he's picking up where he left off. Passing game continues after a gain of 31. That's incomplete. Two of five today. This is a third and eight. Tenth play of the drive. Throwing in. Incomplete a flag. Intended by the Michigan State 20. Here's the flip to Chris Altman Bell. Welcomes the contact, but then is dropped. Kelly McManus throws this one towards the end zone, and it's incomplete. Looking for transferring to Michigan State. Second sack for the Spartans so far today. A loss of nine. Kelly McManus over the middle, and that is caught. Brevin Span Ford, maybe a completion. So with that, the ball now inside the Michigan State 15-yard line. Kelly McManus towards the end zone, incomplete. Was looking. One safety, you see him there about the 20 yard line. Michigan State's playing aggressive defense, trying to load the box and stop the run. Kelly Manis to the sideline, that's caught. Right at the sticks. Charles Brantley now, the last few weeks. And a boot for Kelly Manis, and he'll throw and stretching in. A great catch made by Daniel. More coverage means more space to run the football. 76 yards rushing now for Newbin. Kelly Manis throws. That's caught. Crooms first down inside the 25. Out. Kelly Manis pressure coming. He hangs in there. Throws. That's caught. Touchdown, Daniel Jackson. Number nine, Zion Young checks in for Michigan State for the first time today. Right side of that line. 
for the Spartans. He was under the weather in the first half, did not play a single snap. A play action, Kelly Manis took hit there, that's incomplete. Michigan State brings pressure, and that's incomplete. They're actually going to run it. Kelly Manis on the slant. Jackson goes down, and that is under a little bit on this drive. He's under center here. Boots. Throws. And that's intercepted by Mangum. Vision is right, and he presses the hole. After the first down for Newman, Kaliak Benes throws for the first time, and a low ball is done. After Newman's run, it's second and five. Kaliak Manis for Jackson, and he turns around and hauls it in. 100-yard receiving games for the first time in his career. After the Ryman touchdown, Minnesota on the march. All Kaliak day. Manis, end zone, contested grab. Elijah Spencer. The six-foot-four Kaliak Manis starting this drive with Evans on the option. After his touchdown to Elijah Spencer on the first drive. Wide open. Kaliak Manis on target to Brevin Span Ford, who broke out. After his targeting penalty, held him out. Third and ten for Kaliak Manis. And a quick pop. Span Ford is down short of the line. Trying to keep the drive alive on fourth down. Has it. Kaliak Manis out the back door and complete for a first down. Which is right now is having an excellent game. A fun start on offense both ways. Kaliak Manis shot play to the end zone and Jackson is double covered. Right now they're one high and they look like they're lining up in man and they're motion with motion so you know you got down below it's three on three. There's wide open. And it's Span Ford in man coverage, slipping away. Span Ford looking for the edge, and he trucks to the goal line. You don't see the arm did his touchdown. Stop. And trying to take a lead again. And Kaliak Manis, and that's broken up. Third down. And pressure off the edge from Atkins, but throwing away from it. Kaliak Manis. About playing in this game last year against this home state team. All he said was, I played bad. I want to make it right. And he's on target on the move. Now to the defensive tackles in the country. On the interior of this Illinois line inside the red zone. And Kaliak Manis. End zone incomplete. Begging out, angle him. Be now, part of it. it. It comes, it happens so fast. When you're running, you're, you're counting. And so it affects the whole offensive line. And that's top the West. Three by one right here. Two deep safety look, and they're manning it up. Kaliak Manis looking trips, and that's behind his target. Probably the final play of this third quarter in a one point game. And Kaliak Manis off target, and Jackson, second half. On third and 12, they have Newton blocks, and Kaliak Manis goes up top. But days, Illinois fans off their seats, first down, but then Williams fumbles it. And Lindenberg and Wally combine for the takeaway. Kaliak Manis lost one, Jackson in the end zone, drops it in for a good and This year trying to finish in the Big Ten Championship game for the first time. Let's see if Johnny Newton can make a play here. Newton right over the ball. And Kaliak Manis over the top, incomplete. And Kaliak Manis on the run, gets it away and not. On third and ten for Kaliak Manis. He throws incomplete. And rush an extra guy. Yep. 
Potential season-defining play for Minnesota. Kaliak Menace! Kaliak Menace drops the pass, and he's looking deep down the field and has a man, and that pass is caught. It's Daniel Jack. Like you said, clearly the best on the outside for Minnesota. Kaliak Menace, play action, another completion. Heading towards the end zone is his big... Send it running back. Hoffman Bell in motion, Kaliak Manis to pass and fires toward. They get this system in, it's kind of a unique system. At times they flashed and played very well, but haven't been as consistent as they need to be over the course of this season. Kaliak Manis, another completion, big tight end, another grab for Brett. Opportunity, and he's really taking advantage. Kaliak Manis looking deep down the seam, and this is incomplete. Jackson. Clean drop. Kaliak Manis navigating that pocket. Has a completion. Big hit put on. And this is Daniel Jackson for football and the spirit with which they coach and they play. It's fun to see these guys develop together. Kaliak Manis play action. Back to his tight end and a little. Third and six. And with Jackson in motion, looking towards Jackson. Completion right there at the 20, he is stuck. The low man wins in football. <laughs> Get lower. The low man always seems to be on offense lately. A good push behind it. Kyle like Manis, completion, Daniel Jackson. One more year, we'll see the senior out of Harlem, New York. He's the loudest voice defensively. So get to the out. Gavin Shaw, he deserves some opportunities to run the football as well for Minnesota. Play action. Kaliak Manis down the field, looking toward the end zone in just a little bit. What they're trying to do, player safety, but it might backfire because these quarterbacks might start diving forward and create a more dangerous situation for themselves. Kaliak. This field goal longer. So third long. Kaliak Manis scanning his wide receiver. Take it down the field. Yeah, it's happening fast, and they're catching the ball in. Yeah. They get to Newman. Kaliak Manis with the completion. It's Cruz. And he... This is the kind of performance he's flashed all year long. Critical for him to carry it through 60 minutes. Kaliak Manis looking deep, and his wide receiver has a step, and that is... Another perfect strike by Kaliak Manis. Pick up a 41. Kaliak Manis back to pass, deflected up into the air, and... Kaliak Manis looking toward the end zone. Puts a little air up underneath of it. And he's trying to. Sure has been. Two and seven record coming back home. You wouldn't know what you'd see. It would look much better. Now Kaliak Manis. Got him. Falling down. Down the field. It could have been intercepted. He's usually 20, 25 yards deep. See the five-man front right here? They align this way every time before every snap, and then they adjust. Third and four. It's goal first. Kaliak Manis play action. Now he's looking down the sideline, and this is a little high. Try to kinds of pressure here from Purdue. Get a positive play and get this drive started. Bring span forward across the formation. Eighth and Kaliak Manis. Completion. It's Daniel Jackson. This time they will connect and inside the 30. Isolation outside as well. Kaliak Manis scanning toward the end zone. He will fire, and that football is caught for the touchdown. Incredible. Chris Ottman Bell. Third and three. Russian three. Kaliak Manis throws it straight back a long way. Lenny Dawson, Bob Greasy, all of them had a chance to coach Kyle Orton as well. And it's a great history and tradition. Kaliak Manis batted up into the air for Purdue. Kaliak Manis looking for his tight end, and it was a bit. We'll see if Kaliak Manis can handle it and make the right decisions here in the second half. Third and ten. Kaliak Manis. He, he starts to do too much. 
It's about execution. It's a good start on this drive for Minnesota. Over 300 yards of offense for Minnesota, 426 for Purdue, 732 on the afternoon between both teams. And this. See if Kaliak Manis can get it going. Needs a lot of offense in this fourth quarter. All right, Manis, completion to his tight end. Executive punts. Now they find themselves down 22. It's just tough sledding going forward. Second and two. Kaliak Manis stands. Russians has not been able to do it. Minnesota, two for ten on third down. They've missed their last eight. Ball out heat. Kaliak Manis steps up into that throw wow. down the field and it wow. is caught. Some throw and catch. Minnesota's moving. Really surprised by the defensive call. Gain of 35. Kaliak Manis told the end zone and too far. Penalty marker, though, does fly. That was Daniel Jackson who was trying to get behind the defense. It was Brown. Opportunities to make these plays down the field. Kaliak Manis has all day. Taking his time. And now skips it. Coverage. He's had a hard time completing passes against it. Kaliak Manis scans and toward the end zone. Double cover. Going to make the play for him, and you know, I can do it. He says, You got to do it. You got to do it. You just got to give them a chance. You got to trust them. And there wasn't a lot of reason to trust them at that time. Completion here to his tight end. This is conveyed to Hudson Card. It, you know, they haven't been protecting. Nice completion here out across midfield. This I think everybody's bought in. Pick up of 21. Purdue was trying to sub and it came to 22, but. He's finding his footing as a head coach. This just could be one of those wins for head coach and quarterback. Complete here. Span four. Four next year, and they're certainly off to a good start in this final three-game stretch. Kaliak Manis look more of the same in this game, and credit the adjustments by Purdue on defense. They change up some of the one-on-one -on -one opportunities and made it a little bit more challenging on the quarterback important theme in football finishing plays finishing drives and finishing the game and, you know that iconic symbol of players putting four fingers above their head as you get into the fourth quarter there's a lot of pride in that in football and Minnesota certainly has to address it. Minnesota has not responded Kelly at Manis firing to the defense been impressive and Scorton just a sophomore and already a captain Kaliak Manis, and Kaliak Manis is going to be near that down, and it meant something to him to be a part of that tradition. One of the best ones I was around was Anthony Th Spencer. Loftus flips it to the 49er championship teams. A lot of great quarterbacks, a lot of great pass rushers from Purdue. Kaliak Manis going to take a shot, fired toward the end. Manis will roll and throw it. It's Donato's pizza. Let's see if the Gophers can do anything with this good field position. Kelly Manis will throw low, and that's a nice catch made. As with Northwestern this year, an impressive, impressive season. Chance for the Wildcats to grab a seventh win. They'll take on Illinois and Champaign next week. We'll be there for that. Pressure coming. Kelly Manis will throw, and it's caught by Newman. He you want to go playing this elite Buckeye defense. Newman's had a hard time getting going. Evans was running better until he had to leave with an injury. Kelly Manis hit as he throws. Incomplete. Look at Kelly Manis in the pocket time. Throws in. That's a first down to Cruz. Ball in this game. So Sonny Styles a moment ago. He'll turn 19 next week. My guys bring four. Kelly Manis over the middle. Throws low. That's caught by Nick. This is a two score game. Minnesota would love to go down. Leave no time on the clock for Ohio State's offense and get some points on the board. Buckeyes will get the ball first to begin the second half. Kelly Manis with a pocket throws, and that's caught by Jackson. And he's clock running about three minutes to go until halftime. 
drop. Kelly Menace goes high, but a nice catch made by Spin. So in no hurry. Kelly Manis will take the handoff. He'll take a chance and tipped in. The second deflection. Did Simon pull it down? He did. Cody Simon for now his second career. Third down, no chance for first half. Corey, some of those third down and fourth down decisions, opportunities are few and far between. You gotta, gotta take some chances to try to get points when you do have the opportunity. Kelly Mantis throws, and that's caught by Jack. On the flip side for McCord, just a steady game. Hasn't been perfect, hasn't been his best game, but steady. Good drop, Kelly Manis in through the hands of Jackson. Got hurt earlier. He's out, and the secondary, even thinner now as Green has done for the night. On third down, Kelly Manis, and that's picked off by Jordan Hancock. Hancock inside the 25, inside the 15. Part of that is because the expectations are sky high, right? In the pocket, and that's dropped, and that is how in the field each Saturday. I just can't wait to watch. Kelly Manis sings this one, caught by Spencer. Good, and the committee kind of communicated that. Kelly Manis throws, sliding, diving catch, nicely done by Jackson. When the escape of college football, I don't think Michigan has done enough with their schedule to lose that one and still get in. On the boot for Kelly McManus. And uh, he'll hit Newbin. Kelly McManus. Long throw incomplete. Tyler, and he's popped. The Badgers coming off a tough loss against Ohio State last week, 37-3, where they had just 159 yards of total offense. Back to pass on first down, wide open in the flat is Jordan Newbin, and a big... <laughs> the Badger 49 on second and six. On the all part, the run pass option. Pushed him into the play. Yes. Crooms goes in motion. Kelly Agnes back to pass again, looking for the sideline. Incomplete, and a flag comes out. Intended for Dan. Kelly Agnes across the middle. There's Jackson. A lot of green in front of him. Made a man miss. He's inside the 10. First and one tackles for Waller and for Getz. One of the reasons he wanted to come back was for this game this year. Kaliak Manis to the outside finds Jackson again. Big gain on first. Third and five for the Gophers. Kaliak Manis, all kinds of time. Brings up fourth down. Kaliak Manis. This running game has been very good for Minnesota. Back to pass to Newbin with a nice one-handed catch. Another TFL for Gats. Kaliak <laughs> Manis trying to get rid of it. Flush, it's out of bounds. Okay. By opening the can, keeping the lines in it, the grooves in it. It's the formation of the mold that really yeah. brings it home. Kaliak Manis in trouble, able to get rid of it. It's incomplete.
Mordecai on the run makes a play. Love the synergy. 37. Pontiac Nass finds his tight end. Well, he does a lot of the heavy lifting as you talked about earlier. Now to sub, Minnesota sub. So Wisconsin, if they match that within three seconds, they can make the full substitution. Jump. Good snap. Going deep. Jackson. Incomplete flag comes in. And that is legal. All of that part is legal as long as he's set initially, which I believe he was. First set of downs, play action, a lot of heat. Able to get rid of it. Flag is out. Fasco missed the rest of the game, and his presence on the sideline was massive for that defense. Kaliak Mannis going to the fade route, incomplete. 11th play of the drive for the Gophers. To Freud. Touchdown! Daniel. Four yard line where Ethan Kaliak Manis has 234 to go in the first half. Wisconsin will get the ball in the third quarter. Pass over the middle. Catch is made. There's a situation. Pressure. Gets it up in the air. Way too much. From the nine-yard line, first and ten for the Gophers. Prooms in motion. Kaliak Nanis. Pass caught by Jackson. His favorite receiver moves the chain. Loss of five, third and 14 for the Gophers. And that rush. Finds Jackson. For Kareen, able to make the tackle. A drink. Third and seven. Showing zero blitz. There's no safety back there. The umpire's the deepest defender. And they bluff. Very high on third. Those good. They know they got to finish the deal to take the axe back to Madison. It's a touchdown drive. To pass again. Ball fake. Avoids one. How does he stay on his feet? Finally finds Span Ford for a gain of. Made something out of nothing, that's for sure. Absolutely. Shift the defensive line. Bring five again. Pressure coming. Kelly Manis deep. Incomplete. Third and five for Minnesota. First. Pass again to the flat. As the game goes on, that Wisconsin defense gets better. It's been that way all year. Nice drive on the ball, but you can grow from it. First and ten for Minnesota. Sling it to the outside. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Eleventh play of the drive for the Gophers. Knocking on the door. To the outside. Newbin. At least against him. He's had a great second half. Coming. And they go, they set up the wide receiver screen, and Jackson. Minnesota going for it. 13 out of 15 on the year on fourth down. And in four, clean zone. Kelly Agnes going deep. Ottman Bell incomplete. Still a lot of time left. 8-14 to go, down by two touchdowns. Kaliak Manis down the middle. Jackson catches that one. In the Badger territory, ball is out. Wisconsin's got it. Minnesota's offense back on the field. They need two touchdowns. In trouble. Kaliak Manis able to get rid of it. Intercepted.